Namibia is an incredible place, especially for herping. It has a huge variety of reptiles and is home to an astonishing six species of vipers. Maybe even seven, but more on that later. We went on a mission to find all of the species of adders in the genus Bittus in the country. This is how we did. Caudalis, or the horned adder, is the most common adder species in Namibia and can be found in a variety of habitats and colors. This morning we came out to this beautiful habitat here behind me to look for probably one of the rarest snakes, rarest beaties in the country, the desert mountain adder, beaties xeropaga. So we're going to continue and hopefully we're going to get one of these because if we get this one, we might have a decent chance of finding all six of the dwarf beaties in the country, but it's not going to be easy. So uh, I'm going to keep you guys posted on, uh, on how we do. So yesterday we arrived in uh, Oranjemund. We spent the whole night looking for uh, Bittis schneideri, the smallest uh, viper species, the smallest adder in the world. And we didn't really get lucky last night. So today we're back in the, in the desert uh, trying to look for them. But it's been tough because as you can see, it's very foggy out. So that means that the soil is uh, quite damp. And also there's no light uh, to see the tracks of these animals. So in uh, the uh, late night, these guys start moving, they make tracks and then they are easy to follow in the morning if you get a bit of sunlight, but that's not the case today. So uh, we're gonna wait out the sun a little bit. Yeah, see if we can find one just uh, by roaming around in the desert. So yeah, wish us luck. So the sun popped out and uh, Jacob found these tracks over here and you could clearly see he was dug into these, uh, into this sand over here. He went right over there, here you can see the track, so we're following this track all the way over here and then, there we go. Bittis Schneideri, the smallest adder in the world. Look at that. Beautiful. Good job, guys. All afternoon in this windy habitat here on the shoreline of, uh, of Wunderit, trying to find uh, the many horned adder or uh, Bitis cornuta. And uh, we spent all morning as well. And finally, after hours of looking with 11 people, we finally got our target species and we're photographing it right now. Look at this. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go in. Oh, yes. 
So guys, look at this. This is a beautiful many horned adder. We found this thing here on the coastline in Namibia and the habitat that this species lives in is super harsh. There's a lot of wind. It's very arid, very sharp rocks. There's literally almost no vegetation out here. Oh, and the wind is very, very strong as you can see. But this is one of the most beautiful adders you can find out here in this country. Now it has a lot of horns and the functionality of horns and vipers is quite unknown up until this day. But I think it's a way of breaking up a pattern. You know, these horns here on the top of its face, it might help him go up even more in this beautiful habitat that it lives in. A gorgeous, gorgeous snake. Look at this beauty guys. We came here early morning and set foot on these beautiful red sand dunes of the Sossus Flay in order to find this beautiful little adder. This is the Peringis adder, one of the coolest desert adapted adders in the world. Now we were tracking this guy for I think well over 600, 700 meters until we found him dug in into the sand. Now. What is cool is later on in the trip, we're going to visit another dune system. And that dune system has a different color of sand. This sand is red. The next one is going to be yellow. And the difference, whoa, the difference in coloration between these two vipers is apparent. You'll see that these guys are almost entirely red, while the other ones we're going to see in Swakop are yellow. So they're adapted to the color of the sand that they inhabit. Also, the eyes of this animal is right on top of its head, so it can burrow into the sand and can watch around him while you can't even see him. So we made a quick stop at the Quisep River Delta and uh, this spot is actually quite uh, a decent spot for Pitis arietans, for puff adders. Now uh, this population here is a pretty weird population of, uh, of puff adders because for, you know, for one they live in the dunes, so they live in a dune type habitat. Uh, secondly, their uh, color matches the sand and the vegetation here uh, as well. They tend to sidewind when they're on loose substrates and they burrow themselves in just like a peringui. This is insane, you know? So uh, these guys, they've been um, flushed out uh, over the years from the Quisep River and uh, ended up here and started adapting to a life uh, in the dunes. So we're going to try and track one 
see if we can get one and then um, maybe uh, yeah take some uh, take some footage of them sidewinding or burrowing and or something like that it would be really cool to document it because I don't think it has been documented before we found one the first year we came here and it was dug in completely under the sand uh, but we didn't really pay that much attention to it so uh, it would be cool to get some more uh, footage on them uh, here in the Quisap but look at this beautiful beautiful habitat a lot of vegetation on these parts but down there further back that's the real dune system that starts so wish us luck let's see if we can get one look at this little dude whoa <laughs> laura just found this guy by tracking him all the way to this bush look at him a cute little feisty worm really cool so while we just found a little baby the guys found a bigger one. Oh yeah, that's a pretty decent track. Wow, that's a yellow beast. That's gorgeous, isn't it? So you guys got a peringli as well? Yeah. That's nuts. <laughs> that's crazy. That's nuts. This, this might even be the rarest one of all, a likely undescribed cryptic species of bitties within the horned adders, the highland horned adder. Look at this gorgeous snake. So that's it, all of the bitty species in the country. What a rush! If you're interested in experiencing this kind of adventure yourself, take a look on our expeditions we have lined up for the near future on www.herb.be. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment and subscribe to stay tuned for more amazing herping videos. See you later!